Good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have my mom with me, Cindy, and we are gonna go through a bunch of different questions that you guys have asked us over the past few months, all about Tiptoe and how we got to be the owners of a almost 23 year old pet tortoise. start by asking my mom the questions she'll answer and then I'll add in my little two cents but I got tiptoe when I was seven years old and my mom already I don't know she helped so much from the time that he was a baby until now so I feel like she has a little bit more insight than I do to some of these questions question number one did you know that he was going to get as big as he is now absolutely not yeah we had no prior knowledge of how big he would get. Where did you get him? We got him at Allen's Aquarium, which was located in uh, Venice on Lincoln Boulevard. And we walked in, and uh, my husband and I walked in, and uh, we saw these adorable little tortoises in these little, cave, you know, aquariums. And I think they were about yay big. Tiny. And, uh, did not realize that they get to the size that they get to. <laughs> also, didn't they say that he would get to be like a foot long? Yes, about 12 inches wide. I was like, okay, that's doable. That he didn't was, happen. He was that size at like seven years old, 10 years old. When did you find out that he was going to get this big? He was about 10. Didn't we go to a tortoise expo? Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, we went to a tortoise expo. Do you we remember saw other tortoises that, that were about his age and we were shocked because he was at least <laughs> two or three sizes bigger and we were like oh, he's just a big boy <laughs> he's a big big boy did you expect it to be this much work no same no he's he's a lot of work he's stubborn very stubborn um when he wants something he will not go around it he will go through it because he doesn't realize how big he is very true he's a petite prince and, through and through. Uh, definitely has a mind of his own oh yeah i know i feel like i see so many things that's so sweet of like people saying that animals like tipto don't have a personality oh no he has just, a personality that's just he so far from the truth in our case at least he is he's very full of full of personality how old is he going to live to be they say 80 to 120 years, which is the average so uh, so lifespan. So we shall see. Yeah, he's, he's going strong. 22 he's right now, and he's he's a healthy guy. Very yeah. healthy, shell, healthy. How does he show affection? If you're sitting down in his area or with him on the grass, he will come up to you and he will climb on you. Literally. And he raises his head and um, you can pet him on his head and he tends to look around and just loves having his uh, neck, neck rubbed. rubbed. Oh yeah, um, and he'll stick that out too. If he's walking by you, he'll make it known that that is what he is looking that's for. That's what he wants. I feel like his communication skills, we not bad we know enough to kind of figure out what, what, he, what he needs. What's his personality like? Stubborn. I mean, he's, he's stubborn. He's a big boy. Sweet and, and stubborn. Uh, uh, loves people. Definitely loves people. Very social. Oh yeah. Um, will come up to you, listens to, or knows voices. Totally. Uh, will come out and he'll walk right up to us, to the gate, and uh, uh, is always ready for a handout, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, he loves his food. That's. He's a foodie through and through. How long has he been going on walks? Crush, does he need a leash? He's been going on walks since he was a baby. Yeah, uh, small, right? Yes, because um, he was so, so easy to manage. Yeah. And I've never used a leash. I no, felt he's like been good. sometimes I needed a leash. <laughs> yeah. But uh, for the most part, he stays on the sidewalk. Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, goes off, uh, checks out the grass on the our parkway. Uh, side near the sidewalks once in a while, but he's pretty good. I mean, I say he's pretty good. He's definitely had his moments where we end up, I at least I end up in tears, frustrated. And we've had to send for my dad only once, I think, only once to come save us because 
we did a thing where we let tiptoe decide where we go and that sometimes works sometimes obviously that one time in particular An hour and a half later yeah did not work in our favor he i don't know what he was going towards but he, he was, was on adamant. a mission that day yeah and he was, was super adamant on and on heading the wrong direction how much does it cost to keep tiptoe fed that's a good question I feel like it varies, it very does vary. seasonally, because during the winter he really does slow down in how doesn't much food he nearly as much because he, he doesn't hibernate, he's... but he brumates, meaning that they essentially just slow, and he'll very stay very in his house slow, several days. Um, yeah, he'll a week. yeah, he stayed in there days in a row, mm -hmm. which is oh. so I don't know, maybe twenty dollars a week. Yeah, and I would say about that's twenty like to in twenty-five. The summer. Depending, because we, we do have a garden where we grow some stuff. We'll go down to the farmer's markets and every once in a while, the um, the different stands, they'll save things like the carrot tops and like little things like that so we can pick up big buckets of it. And that's always nice and free, which is amazing. Ton of flowers in the backyard. The yeah, 75% um, of his diet is grass and hay. So and when the roses and keep, hibiscus are in bloom, he eats a ton of yeah, those. Chows. Right now, our hibiscus plants, crazy. So many. Was it hard adapting our lives to him? No. Right? And it was such a gradual process because when we got him, he was the size of a credit card, lived in my bedroom. Then he slowly <laughs> got bigger, made his way into an enclosure in the sunroom, and then he moved outside. So I feel like it's been a very slow progression. Yeah into adapting the house. I mean, he didn't get the pool that we have in the backyard until he was 20. Mm -hmm. So years ago. it's been a very slow process. We're also just like, I feel like learning so much more about him and his care, the more time goes on. So I feel like we're still just changing things, but we have a bunch of other animals too. So add tiptoe into the mix and it's same thing. What is the hardest part about owning a tortoise? I think the hardest part is the winter time when we have to keep him warm mm -hmm. and make sure that he doesn't get cold. Totally. Um, otherwise, the summer's easy. He's um, out and about. It's easy to walk him, but I always kind of worry about the During winter the winters. Months. Yeah. No, it gets cold, and we're in Los Angeles, so our cold is, I mean, <laughs> it's still cold, but it's not nearly as cold as the weather that so many of you guys get. So yeah, I would say the winter too, just because a couple years ago during the winter, he got a respiratory infection and that was just horrible. It was such an unpleasant process. It was like a month of antibiotic injections and you could just tell that he wasn't feeling good. Last year, we thought that we saw signs of a respiratory infection, took him to the doctor. He stayed two nights, did the CT scan, did everything. We went to Access Culver City, most amazing best hospital ever. And the diagnosis from that was very unclear. It was essentially just like seasonal depression, kind of. He yeah. just wasn't, why get out of bed when it's not sunny? Why eat when it's not sunny? You know, you're not eating, you're not going to the bathroom. So. I don't know. Winters are just, it's just off schedule. Yeah, off schedule. So definitely something that we will remember going into this winter of just some weeks are just slow. One thing about him, he's very routine oriented. Very routine oriented. Yeah. That is huge. It's so true. And yeah. when he gets, when the winter time comes, he's not on a routine. He doesn't yeah. come out. At the, with the rain like too that'll throw off the routine the totally. wind yeah 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 i'm excited for the rest of the year we are working on tiptoe's house a 2025 calendar we just got a hundred of our plushies restocked i haven't posted them on our etsy yet but they're so cute tiptoe's birthday's tomorrow that's yep. insane so we'll be celebrating tiptoe makes it to 23 years old yay holiday cards are coming up Lots of stuff. Lots of fun stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. We, I don't know, we love entertaining people with tiptoe and teaching people about tiptoe because he's been in our family for 23 years almost, 22 years. So we have lots to talk about with him. 
So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video as it really supports our channel. And thank you to my mom for joining in and being Tiptoe's grandma. Everybody needs a good grandma. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye. See you soon. Great. Whoa, wow, we only got the first one we have. Good boys. Oh, eating more breakfast? Wow, good job, team.